The Journalist and the Murderer, by Janet Malcolm, A Deconstruction of Ethics, Identity, and Narrative. Janet Malcolm's essay, The Journalist and the Murderer, delves deep into the intricate and often morally complex relationship between journalists and their subjects. Through a critical examination of a real-life case involving journalist Jill McGuinness and convicted murderer Jeffrey MacDonald, Malcolm explores the ethical dilemmas inherent in journalistic practices, challenges the nature of narrative truth, and questions the identities journalists construct for themselves. The essay begins with a famous and provocative opening line, Every journalist who is not too stupid or too full of himself to notice what is going on knows that what he does is morally indefensible. This bold assertion immediately sets the tone for the exploration of ethics in journalism. Malcolm argues that journalists, in their quest for a compelling narrative and access to their subjects, often manipulate and exploit their sources. She asserts that journalists exploit the vulnerability of their subjects, building trust to ultimately betray it, all in the name of a good story. One of the central ideas in Malcolm's essay is the concept of the fatal flaw in journalism. She posits that every journalist contains a fatal flaw, an innate characteristic or inclination that drives them to pursue their craft, often at the expense of their subjects' trust and dignity. In Joe McGuinness's case, his fatal flaw was his ambition to write a bestseller about Jeffrey McDonald's murder trial. To achieve this, he embedded himself with McDonald and portrayed himself as a sympathetic confidant. However, as the trial unfolded, McGuinness's true intentions became evident, leaving McDonald feeling betrayed and used. Malcolm challenges the reader to question the ethical boundaries of journalism by presenting this case. Is it morally acceptable for journalists to deceive their subjects to gain access and information? Does the pursuit of a sensational story justify such deception? These questions expose the tension between journalistic ethics and the pressures of the industry to produce attention-grabbing content. Moreover, Malcolm scrutinizes the concept of the journalist as con artist. She argues that journalists use their subjects as pawns in a larger narrative game. They craft a narrative, often with preconceived notions, and manipulate their subjects to fit into that narrative. In the case of McGuinness and MacDonald, McGuinness had already concluded MacDonald's guilt in his mind before writing his book and he actively shaped his subject's portrayal to align with this belief. Malcolm contends that journalism is inherently deceptive because it presents itself as a noble pursuit of truth when, in reality, it is a form of storytelling that prioritizes entertainment and sales. This deceptive nature of journalism leads to a crisis of trust between journalists and their subjects, as exemplified in the case of McGuinness and MacDonald. Furthermore, the journalist and the murderer challenges the notion of narrative truth. Malcolm argues that journalists construct narratives that serve their own interests, often obscuring the reality of the events they report. She asserts that the journalist's version of events becomes the dominant narrative, overshadowing the truth. In the case of MacDonald, his perception of his own story was overwritten by McGuinness's narrative which portrayed him as a guilty man. This raises questions about the power dynamics between journalists and their subjects and the responsibility journalists bear in shaping public perceptions. Malcolm's essay also explores the construction of journalistic identity. She suggests that journalists often adopt personas or roles to gain access and trust from their subjects. In the case of McGuinness, he presented himself as a sympathetic confidant to MacDonald, only to later reveal his true intentions as an author seeking sensational material. This raises questions about the authenticity of journalistic identity and the ethical implications of adopting false personas to gain access. In conclusion, 
Janet Malcolms, the journalist and the murderer, challenges the ethical boundaries of journalism, questions the nature of narrative truth, and scrutinizes the identities journalists construct for themselves. Through the lens of the McGinnis MacDonald case, Malcolm highlights the inherent deception and betrayal within the journalism profession. Her essay serves as a thought provoking exploration of the complexities of journalism leaving readers to grapple with the moral dilemmas it presents and the blurred lines between truth and narrative in the pursuit of a compelling story. Malcolm's work remains a crucial text for anyone interested in the ethics and ethics of journalism.